Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now it's been a hot minute, maybe not even a minute, like been a couple of months, honey. It's been a while since I last been here on YouTube. Now I have a ton of explaining to do and have a ton to share with all of you. And yeah, so I thought I'd just do sit down, do a really fun chit chat, get ready with me. I do have a bunch of products that I recently picked up from Ulta and Sephora that I just kind of threw into this Ulta box. A lot of the Sephora items I did like dip into because I just couldn't wait. I couldn't get my, I couldn't wait to get my hands on the product. So I did dive into that. But this is going to be super chill, like just testing out new makeup kind of video. And I don't even know if like this is considered new anymore. Like I picked them up last year and it was supposed to be like a Christmas, christmas E type of makeup look. Which is why you'll see like the kind of same color story that, like throughout the products. It's supposed to be like a maroon red. Like I wanted to do like a real like vampy red fall winter kind of look. But we way past that now, honey. But... I still have all the products, so I definitely want to do that for you folks. But yeah, if you want to like hang out, go get your makeup, go get you something to eat, do anything. Maybe fold your laundry, honey, bait your pets, whatever you need to do. Go ahead and go grab it, and then let's sit down and let's chat. Okay, so before we get into the makeup like look and like the whole getting ready with me, I just wanted to quickly go over the products because like I can't fully remember like what I even got. So yeah. <laughs> um, first thing I see here is a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The Sephora Hydrant Mattifant. Wait, that's not in English. Eight hour mattifying moisturizing sunscreen. It's supposed to be like a primer. I am going on a trip later this year and I'm so excited for that trip. And so I thought I'd try and get this to kind of like help with that. It's more like a like a beachy kind of trip. So so I'm hoping that like having an SPF product that I can take with me. And then I also wanted to get a SPF foundation. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin The Better CC Cream with the SPF 50. We have a Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is Reloaded. Um, again, like the color palette here is like very like warm, maroony, and like that was kind of like the theme that I was going for. I got a teaser because I've been really into like big poofy hair, as you can see. So I just wanted something to tease it. That can go over there. Bye. Um, I got two makeup sponges anytime I do a haul, like whether it's Sephora or Ulta. If it's Ulta, I usually try and pick up more of the affordable brushes, so the Morphe and the Real Techniques. And then from Sephora, obviously the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender. Wow, I'm like a real rough at this. <laughs> um, but I always try to pick up sponges because they're always great to have on hand. And like it's difficult to just place an order like for just a sponge. So just by having them on diggity dick dick dick, we can have them ready. Next. Oh, so it looks like I got some things not from Ulta 2 and from the brand Juvia's Place itself. Um, this is another eyeshadow palette. Ooh, so this is fun. Like, again, like this warm, like, smoky looks. And then there's a black in here. These shimmer shades are really pretty, like this one here for an all over the lid shade. Yes. Maybe one of these for an inner corner highlight. Yes. So, excited to play with that. We got two of the Essence Brow Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara. I love these. They're basically like the Benefit Give Me Brow, but the Benefit Give Me Brow be real expensive. I do prefer that one a little bit more. We got the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. This is in the shade White. I got this because a lot of my Halloween makeup looks require like a white eyeliner and it's just like pretty. The applicator is amazing. I got a Morphe brush. I'm really trying to find like a dupe, if you would, for my favorite eyebrow brush. Which are these here. These are the Brandon number 
1822 eyebrow brushes. Now these aren't really that expensive. I just can never find them. And so I've been trying to find a dupe for it and we'll see how that one is. We got two Maybelline lipsticks. These are the color sensational lipsticks. This one's in the shade Baddest Beige. Ooh, really creamy. It's almost like a lip moisturizer, I feel like, and a lipstick. Oh, this is a really more beauty. Again, like that was supposed to be like the theme. I don't think I'm going that like fall-ish. But again, see, like it was supposed to be all this like maroony kind of color story. Ooh, this is red. I think this was supposed to be for again last year when I wanted to do like a Christmas look. A new concealer to try. This is the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. I can't get her open. Finally got her open. This is in the shade C5. I think this is going to be like the perfect shade for me. We got a Juvia's Place, the Nubian Loose Highlighter. Ooh, that is pretty. It's like a rose gold copper tone. Super pretty. This is just a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil again for my Halloween looks. We got three glitter shimmer pigments from NYX and Wet n Wild. One is the Wet n Wild Loose Pigment in the shade Ice Ice Lady. And then we have two Shimmer Down shades by NYX. One is in Walnut and one is in Nude. I think Nude would be a cute inner corner highlight, but we'll definitely try and play around with these today. And then the last thing we got are two lip liners by Milani. One's in the shade 04 All Natural and one's in the shade 09 Spice. 04 All Natural is like my go-to lip liner. Like, again, just like sponges, I like to order anytime I place any. I like to pick up one anytime I place an order, similar to the Milani lip liners because I have these like always on deck and then everywhere I go it's like my backup pencil so love that. Pretty much everything that I picked up from Ulta, Sephora, and Juvia's Place. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into the makeup look. As you can tell like I'm very very unprepared for all of this. I'm using this as a eyeshadow base. But yeah I have not posted in a hot minute it's just been super busy um like i said oh no i didn't say here i think i said it in a vlog um i did vlog all of december i think my last videos that you actually seen was my halloween makeup looks but what i last actually filmed was um vlogs the month of december i was trying to do vlogmas but that didn't quite work out like I didn't like fully do enough to do full vlogs so I would tell myself like oh I'm gonna post it tomorrow with my other vlog oh I'm gonna post it the next day with the other vlog and then I just kept pushing it off until like vlogs were like three four weeks late I'm just gonna be taking this BH Cosmetics foundation powder to set this um, so I didn't end up posting it and so um, I technically did make more videos for you <laughs> Um, but it's been busy, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, you'll see on my stories that, like, we're busy. Like, I'm, I did Christmas trees all of December. Um, in January, I did paper flowers. So, it's, it's been good. Um, but I'm happy and excited to be back here on YouTube. Really exciting trip coming up that I'm super duper excited for. Um... I have a closer trip coming up, I think, like within the next couple of weeks. So there's a lot to share with you and there's a lot to vlog, which is why I'm trying to get back into it before these this all starts up. I kind of wanted like an intro video, if you will. Like, sorry, I meant to do air quotes. Like an intro video. That way I can kind of explain like what had happened and the fact that I'm back. Like, I didn't just want to like on your screen, like with nothing. And then you'd be like, the heck is he doing here? You know? Um, I also want to mention that I do have quite a bit of pre-filmed videos. 
So my goal last year in December was to do Vlogmas and I don't really do that much. So I was hoping to do like vlogs mixed in with beauty videos. So I do have a ton of beauty videos that I still need to upload. So I'm gonna try and keep this like two week schedule upload. I don't have specific dates yet during that week of when I'm gonna upload, but I do wanna try and at least upload twice a week and definitely try and incorporate more vlogs here on my channel I want to do beauty vlogs um mukbangs and then like lifestyle I don't know like where the channel is taking me and what's really like resonating here on YouTube or like where my calling is you know you have all these different people who are like into like really amazing things um and I don't I didn't really find my niche shit here and so I'm just trying to like test the waters and then maybe it is just all of it maybe it's just me sharing my life with you um, but I definitely want to do more vlogs vlogs are so easy to like film and just share with you folks like I don't know if you can like understand the full setup that it takes to like get to where we are right now to film um, I need to start doing more makeup while I'm talking. This is the Makeup Revolution palette. This shade looks like a beautiful transition shade, but it has a little too much shimmer. So I'm going to try and dust some of this one here into the crease. Now, I haven't done makeup in a very, very long time. Like, eyeshadow makeup. So we just need to bear with me today. And it's not technically about the look, okay? It's about, like, just hanging out and, like, talking story. Um, and just, like, chatting about where we've been. Where have you been? What have you been up to? Like, there's a few of you who, like, constantly write to me on Instagram and, like, be like, where's your videos? We miss you. So, don't worry. Like, I miss you, too. I miss just, like, commenting with you folks. It's crazy how many views like my Michael Kors videos get. I think a lot of you probably found me from my Michael Kors videos. These eyeshadows are actually really pigmented. Um, so as I mentioned, like I've done a lot of like party stuff and I definitely want to dive into more of that in 2019. Another really exciting thing, and it makes me so nervous, but I feel like if I put it out into the universe and, like, catch her, <laughs> hopefully she sticks somewhere. But um, I would love to get into freelance making. Freelance makeup. Um, it's such a huge passion of mine, and it makes me so happy doing. And um, oh, it makes me so nervous talking about it, but I definitely want to explore, like, what my options are and what... Like, what it all entails and, like, the profit margin to, like, the expense margin because it's a lot. It's a lot to, like, uphold a, a full collection to be able to support, you know, you need to be able to work all the different hunties, you know. We can't be just, like, servicing one type of peeps. I'm going to take this lighter pinky shade here just to kind of buff out these edges. She's looking a little harsh. But what's in store for you folks? What's in store for 2019 for all of you at home? Like, what are you excited to do? So I'm sure a lot of you, like, kind of have what your hopes and dreams were already, like, started, planned out, or, like, mapped out, or whatever. I'm going to be embarking on a new job journey this year. Which is always hard and scary to do, um, you know, because you get so comfortable in, like, what you know and what you're doing that it makes it nerve-wracking to almost, like, like, just, like, branch out and start something new. But I think it's needed in order to grow as a person. Like, you have to branch out, you know, when you get stuck in like a rut almost, you never want to do anything else and you kind of go into a routine. I love if you ever mess up just taking like a little powder foundation to just clean up any edges. Okay, now let's try and bringing in the star of the show, which is gonna be this maroony shade here. Again, we're trying to go for that like maroony type of vibe. So let's introduce her to the look. 
Welcome, sis. Welcome to the club, sis. Welcome. This eyeshadow palette has a lot of fallout. So I'm glad I did my eyes first. We're going real mo mobby. Like, obviously, like, I still did makeup. And I'm sure you saw my Instagram, but I've never done, like, full, like, eyes. Because I technically do not wear eyeshadow outside of YouTube. There hasn't been a time that I needed to yet. And not that I don't want to. It's just there hasn't been a need. Like, I'm not going to wear a full beat to, like, the grocery store. Like, I will wear a full beat of, like, foundation, but not, like, a full beat of, like, eyeshadow and, like, the whole kit and caboodle. I'm going to dive into the little bit darker of a brown shade in the palette just to like darken up the outer part of the eye. I want it to be smoky. Dive into the Sahara by the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm going to pick up the shade Katsina. It's just a brown and neutral shade just to blend out these edges. Let's just maroon this whole thing, actually. This whole look. I mean, she is a star of the show. Let's continue to make her the star. Okay, the last thing I want to do before we move on is take the black shade called Chad in the Nubius Place eyeshadow palette and just place that on the outer V. Next, I'm going to be diving into the shimmer shade right here. So pretty. I'm going to be taking it on a flat brush, but we're going to spray it with the primer water. I don't have like studio whatever, the MAC one, um, but I do have primer water. And I feel like it'll work exactly the same. The idea is just to wet it, so to make it look more metallic. Let's just do it with Outfix Plus. And to be a little bit more smoky, so we're just going to take that black again. We're going to go ahead and prime with the Sephora 8-Hour Mattifying Moisturizing Sunscreen. Almost like a lotion, I guess this is. I'm trying to, like... It's not that I'm trying to avoid, um... Flashback. Clearly. It actually smells so good. This literally smells like a vacation. And it's so moisturizing. Like I'm clearly gonna get a flashback. But we're gonna be protected from the sun. Which is like the main thing. I do need to use another primer. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Pore Minimizing. Just to put it in my T zone. Now, I have tried this Born This Way foundation. I just put it back in the box because I was trying to be cute and extra for you because I thought I was going to do like a first impressions test test. But um, I'm actually going to try this CC cream with SPF 50. I got mine in the shade medium tan because Casey Holmes is medium tan. So I thought I was medium tan. And I really hope that this foundation works for like sun protection because I'd love for my trip to be able to use foundation but still be protected from the sun. Oh my god, I was really scared that this was going to be too dark for me. Not today. Mm -mm. This shade's very full coverage for a CC cream. 
Oh, she is full coverage. I put a lot of pumps on the back of my hand. I think I put like three or four and I definitely do not think I needed three or four. I think two would have been like plenty. I'm attending Southern New Hampshire. Super amazing school. There have been such amazing help through this whole process of getting started and getting up and running. Um, again, with this new job, I did need to take a term off, but the terms are short. They all have three months, so I can hop back in quickly later because I'm like all registered and everything. So it'll be easy to go back, but... I just didn't know what this new position entails and I didn't like want to set myself up for failure to take on a new job and to do school. School's pretty stressful. I mean, it seems easy, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. Oh, it's not bad. I think just in the camera with all my lights, it's washing out, but in person, it's really not that bad. Next, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Concealer. This was really pretty as a eyeshadow base. Like, it covered up any discoloration. And this is a good shade. This is also a big applicator. I'm living for it. I'm here for it. Next, I'm going to be cream contouring with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It's like a really orangey concealer. And so it adds like a nice little bronze look to the face that I absolutely love. In, pro in person, I promise I don't look as ghostly as I look like on camera. She pulled it all together and she will continue to pull it all together. So I have been loving the RCMA No Color Powder, setting powder, but I don't like that container. I put it in an old Laura Mercier container. That way there's still a shifter. But this I'm pretty sure has flashback. We're just like a flashback kind of day today. Just setting the under eye. And then the rest of the face is just like a quick little pat 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 Can we quickly talk about RuPaul Drag Race All Stars? Who else thought it was like a gimmick? The finale. Like two winners. Like really Ru. You couldn't have picked one. Like I wouldn't even want to win that way. Like really. Then taking a little pencil brush with the maroon shade from the Makeup Revolution palette and then blending that black out. And just taking some orange to warm up the under eye. She's smoky. Yeah, sparkle. Do you see that? That's what we wanted. Glitter glue, that would be really pretty. I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Foundation Powder in the shade 205. Just setting under the eye. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade 250 and using this as like an all-over powder. I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D highlighting shades from their sh from her shade and light palette. I just mix all three together to just help brighten up the under eye. I 
And then to contour, I take the Anastasia contouring shades. I have them in the Z palettes because they're so easy to travel with. Let's cut these tips. Yes, honey. She's cut. Next, let's dive into highlighter. This is the Juvia's Place highlighter in the shade Neferititi. Nerfetti? Nerfetti. Ooh, she is gold. And then we'll take my favorite Morphe 501 brush. I don't know how to highlight without it. Ooh, she go, she dripping. She came to drip, drip, drip. Came to drip, drip, drip. Oh, she is gold. Y'all see that? Bam, she look wet. There's almost like an iridescent feel to it where it has like blue and green reflex too. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. But. Tip of my nose. I've been really into just like highlighting the tip. Maybe a little bit on the bridge. And then of course the inner tear duct. As if we're not highlighted in there enough. And then to finish up the look, we're gonna be taking the Milani 04 All Natural Lip Liner. This is one of mine, so this isn't the new one. Then I'm going to be taking the Milani lipstick in Baddest Beige. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the finished look right here. I absolutely love how it turned out. It's very like fall and smoky and we're like approaching spring. I think we're in spring. I don't know seasons. I live in Hawaii. We do not feel seasons. So whatever season it is, I don't think that it calls for this vampy of a look. But again, this was supposed to be filmed back in December, which is why it's like fully vampy and such. Um, again, I still do really like how it turned out though. I think it's so pretty. I hope you folks had fun catching up with me. It might have been kind of a boring of a video. I didn't have too much to say and share with all of you. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, turn on your notifications. That way you're notified when I upload a video and I don't know what my uploading schedule is going to be until I can kind of get something consistent. Again, turn on that notification so that way you are notified. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be back. Let me know in the comment section if you're excited to be back. Like, don't worry. I have like a full list of videos of things I want to film and need to film. Some of them are like some ideas I came up with like during this time period of like, <gasps> oh no, we set our face. Do we set our face? We set our face. Um, During this period of like, no posting like I kind of had thought of ideas and then a bunch of you shared with me some ideas that you want me to film as well so don't worry I have your list it may take a while to get there and again you are going to see some pre-recorded videos so don't be alarmed if like my hair changes in between each video or the setup or whatever it may be I do have quite a bit of pre-recorded videos I think it's like five or six um, but I'll make sure to update in the vlogs once we're up to date and we're going to like live videos and current videos. Obviously all the vlogs are going to be new because I'm just going to start recording today actually. Um, but all of the other beauty videos are pre-recorded. I think they're still good quality so I don't want to just like chuck them and like not use them. They're good quality, they're good content and hey, it means more uploads for you. So yeah, 
Please make sure to subscribe, comment, like, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave all of that down in the description box down below. I'll try and link some of these products that way in case you want to pick it up. I don't even know if it's still for sale or available anymore. It was last year that I got all this. Um, I'm thinking like November or December, beginning, beginning December actually. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I hope you folks are excited to have me back here on the tubular. <laughs> And until next time, bye.